thank you. It, it, it's always fun to celebrate the way we were able to with that RMAC victory. And, and I, I think the type of year that we had made it all the more rewarding and, and satisfying and fun. And, and um, so that was a, a great win. I think that the last couple weeks has been a transition, probably more so from the conference to the national level because of the uncertainty of the qualifying standards this year. You know, we had someone like Lane Austin who goes his lifetime best and, and has been in nationals throughout his career and then doesn't make it um, even with that last chance meet. And then Maddie Pressler and Grace Payton and a handful of others that were just so valiant, I felt, in their effort to, to just stay ready and do what they needed to do to, to hopefully get selected. So I think we're through that. We're, the selection is, is clear. Um, we've got our flights, we've got our hotels and vans, and, and now we're just ready to to put it all together. We're making our final selections and who's gonna do what relays and if we can possibly have some divers swim on relays, which I think <laughs> will be something that happens throughout the meet this year, you, you know, with such a, a big reduction in the, in the field size and then the elimination of relay only athletes, it, it really creates a void. And I think from a competitive standpoint too, we, we, we can't leave points on the table. And um, so, yeah, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> ben, uh, a freshman this year, and uh, Coach and I have talked to incredible improvement you've had throughout this year to, to kind of show that all at, at one big meet at the conference. So how exciting were you to, for that week long? Uh, I mean, and now what conference? Yeah, I was really excited because we had a, a, a bunch of meets, not a bunch of meets, but we had a couple meets coming into the the season, and it was fun to race and stuff, but to actually taper for the first time in a couple of years, that was a thrill, and to do it at this meet was super fun, and now I'm just excited for Nationals to see what I can do. Yeah. Well, he is another great meet for, for Thank you, you. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Those, those kind of things that yeah. got to feel confident going yeah, I'm extremely confident going into nationals this year. It's been a couple years since my last NCAA nationals meet. And so just looking back at those meets and knowing what to expect um, and knowing myself better and just knowing that I have like a load of confidence just from my team, from my coaches, from my family. Um, I just really have little fear going into this meet. I'm really excited. Um, absolutely. I think that this is the time of the season where we are the most precise and we um, have trained every possible outcome in a practice. I always say that a race can't be as painful as the hardest practice that we've done. Um, and just knowing that we've had all this training, um, we can really smooth out the creases, as Coach says, and get, to, get down to it and just know that we're capable of anything that we're able to do. Yeah. I love that question. Mm -hmm. Ben needs to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's but that that's what you, that's our sport in a nutshell, yeah. right? Is that relaxed intensity, that that ability to focus and be relaxed. And, mm -hmm. and I'll just before Ben answers, the 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 level of excellence that the two of them brought to training every day was extraordinary in, in two different ways. I mean, Ben. He was 22-0 a year ago coming out of high school, mm -hmm. and now to be 20.0. He was 52 uh, mid in the, in the backstroke, now to be 48 mid in the backstroke. He is the consummate student of the sport. And so he's taken ownership of it, and, and he just loves the process. Of mm -hmm. How can I get a little bit better today? And that's all we try to do is, is be a little better every day. Lily is almost on the opposite end of the spectrum, just in terms of her experience with herself. 
and her ability to articulate that and to be very clear in this is what I think I need, which is different in most cases from what we want, and this <laughs> is how we're going to fit it into the, the, the framework, the scheme of, of what the team is doing. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think the two of them, Pat in particular, have built their game, have, have gone through the process so precisely and personally that they're going to be successful. You, you know, I don't know how successful, but, but I, because we <laughs> never know until we do it, but they deserve to feel confident because of the preparation that they've been through. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly what coach said, like put in a lot of work during the season right now, you know, working on a lot of technique and stuff and still some more power and just trying to be ready for the races and stuff. But I mean, this is the hardest I've trained ever in my life this year, and that clearly it's paid off, you know, which is always a good thing to see. Yeah. yeah. So are you going to have, like, a swim-off with the divers? <laughs> to see who's, you know, who can, who can stay afloat long enough to get We think Isaiah Cheeks wants it the most. Oh, yeah. We're trying not really to talk about it <laughs> because they still have to qualify. You know, we'll get to Alabama – on Sunday and then they have to go on Tuesday. So r really no one's eligible until they're in the meet. So yeah. Isaiah seems to want to <laughs> And he's good. Yeah. He's they're all good. Athlete. All the divers are good swimmers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, sometimes, you know, that's, hey, I'm going to swim from where I come up to, and that's it. You yeah, know, yep. yeah. No. It, is, it is unique that you, know, you can't take another relay guy. You've got to kind of make relays. Yeah. From what you've got. So mm -hmm. It's hilarious. Fill it, fill it, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Why yes. not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm good. Question of the week. Question of the week. Other than swimming, <laughs> what is your favorite sport and why? Oh. Hmm. I got it. <laughs> Um, I've really enjoyed hockey lately, actually, um, especially when they started back up. And my grandparents love hockey, so we started watching it on TV, and it's been really fun. So go abs. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the triathlon coach, so i got to say triathlon. And I love um, swimming, biking, and running. But I really love to get up on that mesa right there. And Powderhorn, you can't really see it because it's on the, around the corner. but. I'm an avid snowboarder and, and board sports enthusiast, mm. so any, anything on a board. Nice. Um, well, <laughs> I don't watch that many sports <laughs> besides swimming, but I definitely appreciate like all types of sports. I went to the Come soccer, on, I went to the soccer game this weekend. <laughs> um, I like watching track and field. Um, I used to play volleyball, but just terrible at that. But I think it's fun. Beach volleyball. There we go. Sure. Let's do that. <laughs>